This is my modified Ruger Mini 14. Uh, I just want to give you guys some pointers how I built my gun. And uh, this one works great. Shoots very accurate. And uh, one of my uh, favorite guns. I started out with the uh, Scar uh, Sage Scar stock on it. This is uh, probably the best stock that you can uh, fit on your Mini 14. Just give the gun uh, better accuracy and it, uh, it looks badass. Then I have a CAA buttstock on it and uh, with the ACP, uh, the riser here. Uh, I forgot to mention that the, uh, the scar stock uh, the Sage cardstock, you can fit uh, any AR-15 parts to it and uh, it fits right on. Then I have the, uh, uh, let me see, the e EOTech uh, 512A65 holographic side on it. Just this one. Let me show you that the side from this side you can see how it looks there it is after that I have the uh, Falcon Industries the Argo Grip pair uh, I use the Ruger 30 round factory magazine I uh, did some testing with other uh, magazines uh, aftermarket and they they don't work that's the bottom line if you want your gun to work you have to go with the, the Ruger uh, factory magazines they also have a, a 20 round version that also works uh, great then I have the uh, Daniel Defense vertical grip on it right here I have the uh, har bar that's fitted to the to the barrel, and uh, the har bar here it helps the gun out with this uh, accuracy. It helps to cool the gun down when you are shooting very rapidly in sessions with with uh, with fire. Then I have the uh, Smith Enterprises muscle brake AR-15 style. Point two two three. Uh, I uh, my local gunsmith uh, uh, threaded my barrel so so uh, make it fit. After that, uh, I think that's it. Oh wait, I have uh, one more thing. I added a buffer pad inside here. So it uh, helps out uh, to protect the receiver from damage when you're shooting. Uh, only cost like 14 bucks. It's a great investment if you want your gun to to last longer. Uh, I'm also gonna put out a video uh, on YouTube later on here when I shoot this gun at the local gun ranch. So stay tuned for that video. I'm just going to show you the gun from from the other side as well. That's it. I hope you gave you guys some some good pointers how to build build a gun. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, just send them to me. Have a nice day.